Hey guys, Indy here. Um, I'm here to basically just give you guys a quick, really quick um, eye look. I already started the eye look. Um, I have to re-record, and good thing I didn't do this eye, so I could just sh demonstrate on this eye what I did to this eye. It's going to be a really, really simple look. Um, just for every day. I already did my face, my brows. Um, so I just have to do my eye look. So I'm just gonna be focused on that. Um, I decided to just keep it really inexpensive and just use this eye, um, this e.l.f. Double Decker palette. It has the pop color and the neutral shades. Um, for the most part, I did use the neutral shades. I'm going to um, just blaze through this um, video, but I did want to keep it in real time just so I could show you guys step by step. This color I already did place on my um, brow bone, and I'm just going to place just a little bit more just to demonstrate. Of the placement where I put it and I did prime my eyes with the elf primer the next thing that I did was I took this um, more um, stiff precise um, crease brush and I took this brown color right here and I placed that into my crease and I'm actually going to do it over just for um, purposes and I'm going to demonstrate on my other eye and actually before that I ended up taking this color right here and I put it all over my lid, which I'm actually going to do to this eye right now with this big blending brush. So I'm going to take the more precise crease brush and I'm going to place that directly into my crease and I'm just going to drag it. I'm not going to even try to blend it with this brush because this is a really stiff brush. So if you guys have a stiff um, crease brush in your collection, just take that and drag this chocolate color right here this chocolate color is darker than my skin but it's not too much darker so it's not going to look really drastic like i said this is an everyday eye look i am going to school with this eye look so i don't want to make it too dramatic so i'm just dragging that into my crease and i'm not even focusing on blending it so I'm actually going to take the fluffy blending brush and just blend it out just a little bit and bring it a little bit over my crease. Actually ran out of storage because I had just recorded two videos for you guys, two hauls. Um, but I did want to get this eye look out. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take this darker brown and with the darker brown and the bigger fluffy blending blush brush um, it's just going to go a little bit over my crease but it's not going to look too dramatic because I am taking like a bigger blending brush and I'm just going to swipe across and blend that crease color with this um, this other chocolate color. And I'm going to do the same thing, redo it on this side, just with a little bit more product on my brush, just to give this some dimension. Typically when I'm doing like an everyday eye look, I use about four um, eyeshadows, one for my brow bone, one for my lid, and two for my crease, and my um, um, one for my all over lid so it's about five colors but just when you hear five colors it doesn't mean that um, it's gonna be a complex eye look because that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be a complex eye look it's just that I use more colors so that when I'm doing the blending process it's more easier there are some eye looks that I can legit can create with three colors um and I actually will be recording that video really soon so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gray color, second gray color, and I'm going to use this e.l.f. Packer C brush, and I'm going to pack this gray color onto my lid. Now when I'm wearing a certain color, I don't necessarily make my eye color the colors that I'm wearing. I am wearing gray today, so I am using a gray eyeshadow, but I don't always do this. I'm only using the gray eyeshadow because I don't want to put any silver in my eye look, but I am wearing silver, so I don't want to make my eye look gold, and I'm not wearing gold. 
so when I'm um, whenever I'm wearing silver I try to use like cool toned um, eyeshadows and whenever I'm wearing um, gold jewelry I tend to wear like a more um, bronzy um, look but no matter what color no matter if I'm wearing silver or gold I always tend to um, use like a brownish color for my crease color so I'm actually going to take this fluffy blending brush again and there's no product left on it and I'm just going to use that to um, blend the gray with that chocolate brown and I will try to post below the products that I use just so if you guys don't have this particular palette you guys will know um, the type of color that I used because for the most part you guys can find these similar colors in any inexpensive palette that you may have whenever I'm doing like a simple eye or any any day dramatic simple it doesn't matter I always tend to use a matte color for my crease and my lid it doesn't matter or my um brow bone but whenever no matter what I always use a matte color for my crease I don't want to use anything that's shimmery for my crease because then it will drop my um it'll make my eyes look droopy so that's basically it for the eyes, um, the eyeshadow. The next thing I'm going to be doing is just solely um, uh, mascara and um, liner. Now when it comes to liner, I don't always wear a winged liner to school. And I might do a winged liner today, but I'm definitely going to do it off camera. Because it is a little time consuming and I am running out of space on my storage. But for the most part... For now, I'm going to take, I always tend to use like a colored liner um, on my lower lash line. I like the way it looks. Um, it doesn't matter what color I'm wearing. I always use a colored liner. So I'm actually going to take this blue eyeliner and it's a stick liner, nothing too fancy. And I'm going to take that and drag that on my lower lash line. And this is just to add some pop of color into my eye look because I don't always like to wear colored eyeshadow. So this is where the color will come in when I don't have colored eyeshadow. And I hope you guys can hear, hear me because my mouth was kind of covered. So I'm just taking that colored liner and I'm dragging it across my lower lash line. I do that to both sides. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm actually going to take um, some mascara, and I always, no matter what, I do use two mascaras. It doesn't matter how good a mascara is, how bad it is. I always tend to reach for two mascaras, and I always double them up. Um, I don't necessarily go for like one that does anything. Like um, it doesn't matter if it's volumizing or lengthening, I always use two. So I'm first going to take my, um, actually no, I'll put this at the bottom. The first thing I'm going to do is take this um, Volume Flash Scandalize Mascara by Rimmel. And I love this mascara. Um, I'm wondering if I can throw in a liner. I'm actually going to do liner today. Should I? Hmm. Okay, no, I'm not going to do the liner. So I'm just going to take the mascara and I'm going to do a quick coat with this. And those of you beginning to do makeup, are you whenever you're applying mascara, just make sure that you start from the base and hold it there and just twist your spoolie up and it will make guarantee that you coat all of your um, eyelashes so you just take it from the base and you twist your spoolie and that's basically just what I do to make sure that um, <clears throat> my eyelashes are fully coated now I did forget to curl this lash but this lash um, 
naturally for me it all automatically curls up this lash on this side um i always have to make sure i curl this lash because it naturally does not curl up it curls out so i have to curl this one all the time even if i don't have to curl my right eyelash and if you guys do have um eyelashes that go out make sure that you guys always curl them so that you can appear to have longer lashes so I'm taking this at my base and then I'm twisting it up and the reason why I'm going step by step and what I'm doing is because I do have a lot of friends and family that don't know how to apply makeup as well as they like to and I've gotten a few requests just to do and demonstrate how I apply my eyeshadow and stuff like that so I am doing the video just for that purpose And along the line, I will do more advanced eye looks. Okay. So, my eyelashes are pretty full, but I'm going to take my second coat like I always do. Um, I'm going to use the Mary Kay Ultimate Lash. This is by far my favorite, favorite lash. And honestly, this is one of the mascaras that I will use by itself. But it's just, because I'm doing a simple eye look, I want to make sure that my eyelashes are pop popping like popped <clears throat> and I am getting over a cold so I am constantly sniffling so if you guys can hear that I apologize in advance because I know it's really annoying And I do spend a lot of, t I don't spend too much time on my mascara, but I do make sure that it is evenly distributed and that it's not clumpy because that does not look good for you to have clumpy um, uh, mascara. <coughs> so next for my bottom lash line, I do have color down there, but I'm going to take this um, ultimate I mean, this mega length mascara from Wet n Wild. Um, I typically just use this on my bottom lash line. And I'm sorry if I'm weirdly positioned in front of the camera. This is just what's comfortable for me. You should always make sure that you're comfortable when you're doing your eye look because you don't want to mess up. So like right now I have my my elbow rusted on um a little makeup holder that I have on my vanity. So that is basically <coughs> what I do on a daily. Like I told you guys, my face is already done. So I'm just going to add the lipstick that I'm going to be wearing today. Um, I usually, whenever I start to do my makeup, I always put on like um, a coat of my Revo lip, um, lip balm. I don't like the EOSs. The EOSs um, seem to leave a film on my lip, my lips and it feels disgusting. So I just, I've, um, gone on using the, um, the Revos. So I'm going to lightly line my lips. I'm not going to do it too dark because I don't want to make it seem like I have on like a full, um, lip. Cause what I am using is more of a lip gloss. And I want my, I want the color to stay true to how it is. So I'm just going to line the outside of my lips. Lightly. And I'm actually going to drag it in a little bit. Just so that the line isn't too dark. Okay, so... I'm going to be taking this NARS um, um, Larger Than Life lip gloss in red, and I'm going to just paint this on my lips. So I'm just going to apply this, and then I'm going to come back to show you guys the finished look. 
Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, this is what I do every day. Um, the lip is a little bold, more bold than what I thought it was gonna be. It is a lip gloss, but um, it is name brand. It is NARS, so I did expect it to be more opaque than usual lip glosses. I am in love. I did get this as a gift um from a friend of mine from Canada. Um, she was nice enough to send me some items. Um, so this is the finished look, and I'm just going to bring you guys in closer. Just a nice, simple, neutral eye um, with some mascara and lip and your face done. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.